the reckoning co fam i made a little challenge for you it's going to be five different things and in the beginning of the month you're going to kind of write down or come up with what you're going to be using for these different five different avenues and basically you're building your reckoning this is your season of reckoning and if you can hold yourself accountable to these five avenues you will see that as each month goes by you're building and not just staying in place not just accepting but actually creating category one self-love practice for the month mine for example this month is going to be stretching six times a week it can be going to the gym it can be making yourself healthy foods at home instead of eating out but what is going to be your main focus self-love practice for the month and how many times a week are you going to do it don't just say i'm gonna stretch and then the month goes by and eh, i'm going to stretch x amount of times a week and then you stick to that like you would an appointment with a boss it's very important that if you're going to do this, you stick to it because you're either building up the self-trust or depleting it more. So once you make the decision to do this, you need to have as much detail in your plan as possible so it's stick with a bowl. Category two, one thing to release. It can be an emotion that you've been holding on to. It can be something that you've been holding back saying. Maybe you say it to the person. Maybe you say it in a letter. Maybe you record yourself talking to yourself. It can even be, for example, I am going to release my phone from my hand earlier in the night. I'm not going to be on my phone as close to bedtime. It can be something like that as well. Number three, mindset shift to focus on. For example, mine this month is when I'm getting frustrated with my son, instead of responding or reacting, I'm going to take five deep breaths before anything comes out of my mouth. That is my goal for this month. You can focus on if you feel like you've been carrying heavy shame or heavy guilt, you can focus on what's one step I can take five times a week to unpretzel this or unpack this or at the very least have a check-in with myself and hold myself accountable. What we are trying to do is look at a mindset that we have from a different pivot point, from a different, a clear view that we weren't having before because even if we don't entirely heal that mindset that we feel is holding us back, we're at least getting another perspective and that begins to open up the airways in terms of what can happen here to make shifts that are needed. Number four, one thing to read. You don't have to finish the whole book because this is like a month to month thing. So it doesn't have to be a big chapter book. It can be a magazine. It can be an article. It can be whatever. But again, we're going to break this up. I'm going to read this at least once a week, at least twice a week for X amount of time. It needs to be detailed so that you know I'm not just, oh, I, I read it because I read a page one time this month and that's good. No, you need to have this amount of times per week, a general feel of this is how much time I'll spend or it can be I'm going to finish this entire book in the month however you want to go about it but giving yourself a fresh source of information basically mental food think of like um, a little wheel in your mind that gets kind of turning with fresh information you may open up entire pathways of knowledge that isn't even aligned with what you're reading but the opening up of those mental channels opens you up to other information information that would help you come in to you in different ways so the reading thing even if you don't enjoy reading is very very important if you just are not about reading at all you can kind of make a little playlist on YouTube of maybe motivational videos or inspirational type videos or maybe something that you're interested in learning about. But I would say this, go in the beginning of the month, put a bunch of things into a playlist and say, I'm gonna watch this twice a week or I'm going to whatever your schedule is. But it's very important that it's set up ahead of time and not just, oh, I'm gonna wing it and I'll find a video that day. That's okay, but for this, I prefer everything to be kind of set up ahead of time because on those days where you don't feel like doing it, if it's already set up for you, 
it's you're a lot better off that way especially when it comes to reading that sometimes it's so easy to distract ourselves with just being on my phone instead or just doing that instead but if you have it like here's the link or here's the chapter or here it's ready you're more likely to stick to it and the reading is is very important when it comes to this challenge last but not least number five is a goal since this is a month-to-month -month thing though this isn't like a big giant goal we have those big giant goals and that's great but we also need little goals that we can complete and check off so we get that feeling of we did it we, we ch I checked that off right I, I completed this task so this is what's one thing that you can accomplish in that month time span because remember you're going to pick another goal the next month so you can those cabinets in your kitchen that you've been kind of putting off cleaning that can be your goal for the month you can make it a goal for a month to reach out to someone that you haven't or maybe have anxiety about reaching out to something like that but a goal that can be attained sometime within that month but something that's meaningful something that's essentially checking something off the list so it frees you up to have open space for creativity and thought and just not just continuous busy work so we're, we're accomplishing little goals checking off that busy work and also kind of giving ourselves that mental stimulation so this is the reckoning challenge and i can't wait to see what you all do with it